Hello, everybody. It is yours truly, Bad Boy Swag 420. Thank you for joining me once again. Uh, I got a really fun video for you guys. I'm going to talk about this super underrated, um, criminally underrated program called Steam ROM Manager. Uh, essentially, it will import your your ROM games into your Steam uh, profile, uh, kind, and it'll treat it like it's any other game that you've you purchased on steam and it's really really cool and really really useful and you can jump in and out of games super easy and configure your controls if you need to and i'm actually going to go ahead and show you how all that is done it's not that hard so first thing you're going to need is the steam rom manager of course um you can download it in quite a few different ways i would prefer to down well, I personally prefer to download it the the portable version just because the uh, the setup.exe is treated like it's a virus when it's not I don't know why it does that um, so once you get that go ahead and just make a new folder in your ROMs and emulators general folder and I just named it SRM and I posted it in there and as soon as I started editing it uh, editing uh, you know uh, they're called parsers. Once you started making parsers, it makes that special folder with user data. So I created a parser for my and Nintendo 64 games. So Project 64, it's already configured there, and uh, I manually just I manually just put in all the stuff, and I mean it's pretty straightforward. It's really really easy. So let's see uh, SNES, uh, straightforward once again. Uh, Sega Dreamcast. This one was a little different because there wasn't a, a configuration preset for this. However, there was a pr uh, configuration preset for Sega Dreamcast Rycast. So I just selected that, and then I went ahead and edited all this other information down here. Like, like this wasn't called Redream. It was called like Retro Arc Rycast or some shit. I just named renamed it uh, Redream, you know, because that's the program that I'm using, and I think that's a superior emulator for Dreamcast. Prove me wrong. Um, all right, so. Um, I went ahead and downloaded a new emulator. This is for Sega Genesis. I got Streets of Rage. I've been aching to play it. I love it. I'm a freak for nostalgia. So I got that emulator. And I already, like, you don't really got to install most emulators. You just kind of extract them and then use them just like any other program. It's like they're portable. So um, from beginning to end, I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's go ahead and see if we can find the configuration for this. Uh, ooh, Genesis Plus. Okay, so we have Sega Genesis, uh, Genesis Plus GX. Okay, so this is, this is probably what I have. Um, let's just go ahead and name this Sega, Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, just to keep it simple. All right, my executable. Uh, let's go ahead and go down here to my E Drive, ROMs and emulators. We're gonna go to head emulators. Go to Sega Genesis, and oh, there's Gen, Gens Plus. It's, it's seems to be the right one all right my roms directory okay well that's pretty easy where do i keep all my games that's what a rom is a rom is a game so we are going to be selecting this folder right here uh select all right so steam directory okay this is pretty straightforward uh so it's uh c x86 Scroll down, here's Steam, boom, done. All right, so these are all the games that uh, this this specific parser is going to uh, use, utilize. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now I'm going to test this parser. All right, it appears to be working pretty fine. No issues. Let's go to Preview. Let's generate App List. So if I'm in big... Uh, big TV mode or I'm looking at like large tile mode in Steam this is what I'll see all right this this is the image that I want I think that that's really fucking cool all right I'm gonna go ahead and exit Steam I'm gonna save my app list let me just generate it one more time and save it again it, it wants you off of uh, all of you retrieved okay yeah it wants you off of um, steam when you're doing this shit so that was my fault but it's not the end of the world i just exited steam now if you're having an issue uh grabbing photos the way that it grabs it from a database so if i look at my uh my parser over here so sega genesis it, it's grabbing images from steam grid db you can also get another one from retrogaming.cloud but steam grid db is perfectly fine so uh yeah streets of rage that's uh that's the game 
that I just got the image from. So if you're having a hard time finding a picture here, like look at this example. So we got Jurassic Park 2, The Chaos Continues. So when I had this, uh, when I downloaded this game, it had uh, number two was Roman numerals and it had like some little dash right here. Um, so I wasn't able to extract an image. Well, if I go over here to the Steam Grid DB, I uh, just type in Steam Grid DB on Google and, and it finds it. Um, okay, so this is the name of the game. So I'm going to type in Jurassic Park Part 2 The Chaos Continues. Jurassic Park Part 2, The Chaos Continues. But I'm going to leave out the, these little symbols right here, the these little characters. And let me see how I have it spelled in... Here we go. Jurassic Park 2, The Chaos Continues. Well, uh, I, I left out the Part 2 part, but still, it's just... If you, if you must, if you must, just type it out exactly how it's written here. And it'll it'll grab the the images that you're going to want. All right, so uh, yeah, it appears we're done here. Let's go ahead and open up Steam. Let's see what we got. Let's see if our uh, Sega Genesis game was pulled up. Now, one of the reasons you want to do this, and oh, there it is, Streets of Rage. Now, one of the reasons you want to do this is because when you cl double click one of these games here, any of these games here, from Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64 Dreamcast, it's just going to start playing your game. Now, if you don't want to look at it in a list like this, I don't know why you wouldn't. This is the most typical way to do it. Let's say you're on a couch. Ooh, look at that. You got these pretty pictures, or even better. If you're on big screen mode, let's go to library. Um, let's go to my games. Let's filter this. Uh, I feel like only playing Nintendo 64 games. Whoa, that's pretty cool. This is really freaking cool, guys. This is really cool. Now, if you're gonna be doing this type of setup and you're on a couch, you're gonna have you're gonna want one of those like uh, keyboard slash trackpad combos, like one from Logitech, or you don't even have to go all out. You can there, there's a lot of really low cost options because uh, well, I'm gonna explain why. Because when you open it up, it's not gonna be in full screen. It's going to be like in a windowed mode. So if you want to make any last minute changes to your controls, let's say you're playing with multiple people, you can do that and then hit alt enter and it will, you know, uh, go to full screen. So let's get back to reality. Let's go back to my list. Let me, sh let me demonstrate how easy it is. So I already got streets of rage right here. Let's see if it opens up. No rum. Hmm. Ah, uh, here we go. This is why. Okay, so you're gonna want to set a ROM directory before you fucking do anything. It's really lame, but you know, whatever. Okay. Now let's see if it does it. No room. Why do you do this to me? Well, this is awkward. It's supposed to be working. I'm not sure why it isn't. All right. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to just open up a random game and I'm going to show you. <laughs> All right. One or more devices cannot be obtained. So that means I don't have a controller plugged in, which is true. I don't. But if I wanted to, I can just go ahead and go to options, settings, or whoops. Go to options, uh, configure controller, or controller configure, whatever the hell. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign keys, and I can go ahead and start configuring whatever it is that I want to configure. Now, if I want to get out of 
you know, this windowed mode, hit Alt Enter. Alright, so I just hit escape, getting out of that shit. Okay, so just to show you that it wasn't a fluke, let's do something a little more sophisticated. Let's go to Dreamcast. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and activate my uh, Xbox 360 for PC controller. Welcome to the Power Stone world. Your yeah, so I just turned on the com the controller and it just works, guys. Super cool. Wang Tang, hell yeah. A solid beginning may lead to a perfect ending. Go for it. An aquatic adventure. Don't forget to take advantage of those subs. Yes, Let the battle begin. Go! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? Damn, I'm so good. Oh, what the fuck? Alright. Okay, so I'm done playing that, uh, but t fuck, dude, that game was fun, man. I was, I was getting lost in that. All right, so, um, yeah, you know, here, let me go ahead and quit this. Here, let me just go ahead and exit out of that. So that that's just a, a taste of what you can do with Steam Raw Manager. Unfortunately, Sega Genesis is not playing uh, kind. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I just, I got, I got the right one. I don't know. That's, uh... This is really upsetting. This is really upsetting. Open ROM. I mean, is it not going to let me pick my own fucking ROMs? No items match your search. Okay. Well, I got to figure that out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. You're the best. Peace out. All right, guys. I got a different uh, emulator. It's called Fusion. Apparently, it's a top-rated emulator for Sega Genesis and uh, all sorts of other um, Sega products. So, unfortunately, when I double-click it, it does not auto, uh, you know, it doesn't open up immediately to a different game or to the game that I selected in the Steam window. But we can load up a game, and it'll play as it's supposed to. And, you know, I can go full screen later on when I feel like it. You guys didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, whoops, I didn't mean to. Oh, the cops. Oh, what a waste. Yeah, I'm still looking for the best of this shit. That's it. Just wanted to prove it could be done. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.